why aren't all parathyroids removed when treating hyperparathyroidism if there is a chance of recurrence? I'm Dr. Bob Aklarion from Center for Advanced Parathyroid Surgery. As you know, the parathyroid glands control the level of calcium in the bloodstream. They do it by affecting the bone, by affecting the kidney, and by activating vitamin D in the kidney, and the vitamin D goes and increases the absorption of calcium from 20% to 80%. So if you don't have a parathyroid gland, you're not gonna activate vitamin D, and you're only gonna absorb a minimal amount of calcium from your intestines, which means that you're gonna to need to take massive doses of calcium and also get a prescription strength vitamin D not available over the counter. And not everybody's able to handle that well. And some people are forced to get injections of PTH twice daily to try to manage their parathyroid functionality. And so you wanna keep at least one or half a parathyroid inside so that it does the functionality for you rather than for you having to take massive doses to supplement it. If you're interested in clear parathyroid information, visit us at parathyroid.net.